In this video, we will going to see how to approach left nearest smaller element problem. So the problem statement is given an array, find left nearest smaller element for each element of the array. And if the left nearest smaller element doesn't exist, consider minus one as answer. For example, consider this array. For one, there is no element in the left of it. So minus one will be the left near smaller element of one. Then the LNS of three is one. And then the LNS of two is also one. Then the LNS of five is two. And then the LNS of nine is five. And then LNS of eight is five. And the LNS of seven is again five. The LNS of two is one. And the again LNS of two is one. So these are the left nearest smaller element for this given array. Now before moving forward, let's modify the problem statement bit. That is instead of finding the left nearest smaller element for each element, we will going to find the index of left nearest smaller element because with the help of index, we can easily retrieve the original number present on that index. Now let's see how to approach the solution to find the LNS of each number for given array. Now let's try to find the LNS of two. Now here the first left nearest element for two is seven, but seven cannot be the answer for two because seven is greater than two. But now as we move forward, we were going to encounter three types of element in which some will be greater than seven, some will be equal to seven and some of the elements will be less than seven. But since seven cannot be the answer of two, so all the elements which will be greater than or equal to seven cannot be the answer of two. But the numbers which are less than seven can be the answer of two. So now as we move forward, we will only consider the element which are less than seven. Since eight is greater than seven, so we will not consider eight. Now since again nine is greater than seven, so we will not consider nine. Now five is smaller than seven. So we will consider five and check whether five can be the answer of two or not. Since five cannot be the answer of two because five is greater than two. Now again, while moving forward, we will going to encounter the elements which will be greater than five or equal to five or less than five. Again, we do not consider the elements which are greater than or equal to five because five cannot be the answer. Then all the numbers greater than five can also not be the answer of two. So we will only consider the elements which are less than five. Now this two is less than five, but two cannot be the answer because two is equal to two. Now again, we will going to encounter the elements which are greater than two equal to two or less than. Two. So again, we will consider only those elements which are less than two. Now this three is greater than two. We will ignore this three. Now this one is less than two. It means we found the answer for two, which is one. So the left nearest smaller element for two is one and the index of that element is zero. Now, as you can see, while finding the LNS element of two, we have picked these elements that is one, two, five and seven. But in between these, we also pick three, nine and eight to check whether it can be the answer of two or not. But if we somehow know from seven, that is the sixth index, we have to pick the element which is at third index that is five. And from third index, we know we have to pick the element which is at index two, that is number two. And from two, we know we have to pick the element which is at index zero, that is one. Then we can ignore the unnecessary element check, that is the elements three, nine and eight, which will help us to reduce our time to find the LNS of so how we are going to know from index six, we have to jump on index three. If you observe the above two arrays, the left nearest smaller element array and the index of left nearest smaller element array. Here the LNS of seven is five, which is at index three. And you can also see from index six, we are jumping to index three, which is the LNX index of seven. And similarly, after index three, we are picking the element which is at index two. And index two is the LNS index of number five. And after two, we are picking the element which is at index zero. And zero is the LNS index of two. So 
it means that before going to find the LNS element of ith index, if we somehow know all the answer for each index from 0 to i minus 1, then we can easily find the path that is the next element we have to pick after picking some element. That is from index j, we have to pick the element which is at index equal to answer of j, that is the LNS element of a number at index j. Now again let's find the LNS element using our algorithm. So for 1 there is no left element so minus 1 will be the answer of 1. Now for 3 the left nearest index is 0 and the element at index 0 is 1 and which is less than 3. So for 3 the LNX index will be 0 and this is the path we have used to find the LNS of 3. Now for 2 the left nearest index is 1 and the element at index 1 is 3 which is greater than 2 so 3 cannot be the answer now from 3 we have to jump on the index which is equal to the lnx index of 3 which is 0 now at 0 the element is 1 which is less than 2 it means that index 0 is the answer of 2 and this is the path we have used while finding the lns of 2 now for 5 the left nearest index is 2 and the element at index 2 is 2 which is less than 5. So the answer for 5 is index 2 and this is the path we have used to find the LNS of 5. For 9 the left nearest index is 3 and the element at index 3 is 5 which is less than 9. So the answer for 9 will be 3 and this is the path we have used to find the LNS of 9. And for 8 the left nearest index is 4. And the element at index 4 is 9 which is greater than 8. So 9 cannot be the answer. Now we have to pick the index which is equal to the LNX index of 9 that is 3. Now at index 3 the element is equal to 5 which is less than 8. So index 3 will be the answer of 8. And this is the path we have used while finding the LNS of 8. Now for 7 the left nearest index is 5 and the element at index 5 is 8 which is greater than 7 so 8 cannot be the answer now we have to go to the lns index of 8 which is 3 now at index 3 the element is 5 which is less than 7 so the answer for 7 will be index 3 and this is the path we have used while finding the lns of 7 and for 2 the left nearest index is 6 and the element at index 6 is 7 which is greater than 2 so 7 cannot be the answer so now we have to move to the index which is equal to the lns index of 7 that is 3 now the element at index 3 is 5 which is greater than 2 so 5 cannot be the answer now we have to pick the index which is equal to the lns index of 5 that is 2 now the element at index 2 is 2 which is equal to 2 and 2 cannot be the answer now we have to pick the element which is equal to the LNS index of 2 that is 0. Now the element at index 0 is 1 which is less than 2 which can be the answer of 2. So the answer for 2 is index 0 and this is the path we have used while finding the LNS of 2 and for this 2 the left nearest index is 7 and the element at index 7 is 2 which is equal to 2 and which cannot be the answer of 2. Now we have to move to the index which is equal to the LNX index of 2 which is 0. Now at index 0 the element present is 1 which is less than 2. So the answer for 2 is index 0. So this is the path we have used while finding the LNS of this 2. So as you can see this is how we can find the LNS index of each element.